Hello everyone and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League 2021 season! We're here! It's finally here! We're in the preseason though, so it's not actually here, but it sort of is here. Uh, episode 1, I'm Ryan. <laughs> and I'm Jay. <laughs> so we have some great things coming down the line for you guys uh, this week. We have new standings, new Kai's that the teams are in. We've had changes to teams. We've had loans. We've had trades. We have free agents, new forms. There's so much stuff. Uh, so here's our here's our big um, Kai bracket, as you can see there. We'll go through them individually. Uh, so in North Kai, uh, and these are based off of the rankings that we end up having um, from the previous season Bujins, which are the booze and the Majin people hybrids which are half humans and half something else I guess I think they can be androids Saiyans right? no, no just half just human Saiyans? half Saiyan okay half yeah. human half Saiyans or quarter human and quarter Saiyans because Pan can be on there Budokai so people who fought in the tournament and androids all are cybergenetic uh, people yeah, and in East Kai we have Namek, all of the Namekians and their creations. That includes the Shadow Dragons because they made the Dragon Balls, and the Shadow Dragons are the Dragon Balls. GT has been changed to be everybody who played a significant role in GT, which has opened them up to a couple new characters. Kaiju are all of our characters that can transform into big monsters, and Earth Defenders are all of the Z Fighters, and really anybody who defended the Earth up to the Cell Saga. Yeah, and then uh, in the West Kai. West Kai, Rhyme, Best Kai. Uh, we have Royal, so anyone that's a king, a lord, a prince, uh, any sort of royalty. Uh, Rugrats are our children. Cinema are movie takers. And Resurrected Warriors are dead people, now zombies. Yeah, zombie people. <laughs> and in South Kai, we have Cold Kingdom. Everybody that is a part of the Cold Kingdom. Uh, <laughs> Muscle, all of our big muscly man of the league. Sentai is all of the characters that were directly inspired by the Sentai series. If you don't know what Sentai is, that's just Power Rangers. And Derp are all of our derpy, funny, jokey characters who... You know who a Derp character is in Dragon Ball. Come on. We, we already know. Goku, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, so match all of one. Them. Uh, we explained their themes before, but we have the green people Namekians versus Kaiju, which this is an East Kai Divisional. So we'll see how this plays out later in the main season. Uh, but will this be a forecast for what's going to happen? Hopefully. I mean, hopefully they get some good data out of this match. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Will they? Won't they? I'm not sure. What are those builds? Those builds are Scout of Vegeta with Key Plus One, Serious, Quick Fast Attack, Indignation, Light Body, Rush Blast 2, and Cell AI going up against Tambourine with Defense Plus 2, Dende's Healing, Serious, Latent Energy, Quick Fast Attack, and Trunks AI. Yes, and this is not the second time I believe Scout of Vegeta was one of the today. Vegetas who got their uh, Master Blast restriction uh, changed. Yes, uh, can use Master Blast if not on an attack build. Uh, because yeah. if it's on an attack build, then it's just too powerful. Just one of the many changes that we made in the offseason. And if you guys are curious about any of those, check out uh, most of the dragon casts that we do. We go over all the changes. Or join us over on the Discord because we'll, uh, we'll post about every change we make. Yep. And for those that are new, this is a computer versus computer community-based league where uh, the community creates builds for the characters and then they fight each other in a round robin tournament. So this has no human influence on the actual fight. It's all what the AI decides to do and which looks like the AI is currently having the Namex have a one bar lead. Yeah, and I should also say that this is the preseason. So this is teams testing stuff out. This has no bearing on the main season. Galakannon misses because it does misses. not track. Saiyan Soul does not get off. We understand you're the prince of all Saiyans. You don't need to keep yelling it to the cosmos. I'm sure everybody and their mother knows that Vegeta is the prince of Saiyans. Even people that don't speak English know. Question for you. So, uh, the yeah. Namics are, you know, Namekians. They're byproducts, a.k.a. any sort of thing that gets spit out of them from an egg. Or their creations, which would be the Dragon Balls and the uh, Demon Dragons. So Still called Tambourine a creation, but yeah. 
Is there a Super Namekian that then created the Super Dragon Balls? Um, probably. Uh, no, we, it was it was the Namekians saw the Super Dragon Balls and tried to recreate them, oh. and they made lesser powerful versions. I think that's how the lore went. Chow Macau Braj fails, and Tambourine finally takes out Scouter, only losing a bar and three quarters. So nice. And he loses lead. his max power in that little cutscene. Yeah, the waiting for somebody to die can be devastating to your max power. Just die faster, damn it. <laughs> we had that problem in the uh, off-season event at T.O.P. is Android 17 was just gaining so much key because of the uh, death animation. Jumps up and a hit. Very nice from Bardock. Coming Ooh. in with attack plus two, defense minus one, serious quick fast attack, save your light body, Dende's healing, and Majin Buu AI. After image and dodges it. So Tamarine already having done his 40,000, now trying to help his team keep a lead. Yeah, and Tambourine definitely, definitely doing good today. I think that Bardock will be able to take him out. He needs to take him out before he tags if Kaiju is going to stand a chance later down the line. Oh, yeah. Oh. Right, let's see. Nice oh, tag battle. battle. Tag battle. He could finish him off. One hit. Oh, Wild Sense oh. after image. All of it is for the dodge. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a fist. Dodge a wrench, you can dodge a creepy green dragon man. Uh, one more, more hit. More like okay. a gargoyle. But now there's a bar and only a bar and a half difference between the health of the characters. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, bad health pushback from part. I mean, good because he stopped his aggression, but bad because he lost way more health. Yeah, way more health than he would have lost just from the melee combo. Will we see an explosive demon wave? Nope, we'll see how he nope. flash. With Don't Bardock think he's going to get the chance. Ooh. Yeah. King yeah. Piccolo coming in with attack plus one, Capito Secret Arts, launches support, quick fast attack, Savior, and Goku AI. And he's back up. Yeah, he is back up. Namek has not used their uh, max power modes to uh, great effect yet. Definitely not. They haven't even thrown out B2s. No. Final Revenger right, let's see. and dodges. Oh. And okay. wow, well, King Piccolo's doing nothing. Bardock yeah. has... Has Bardock healed? Completely switched it back. Yeah. Uh, Final Revenger. High Speed Clash. I think Bardock's going to win it. No, King Piccolo no. wins in with a smug beam. A nice combo. Bardock does have Dende, so he g did get a little bit of health back. Your name is Drum. Okay, that did not connect. <laughs> All right, will Bardock finish him off here? No tag. Bardock tags. In comes Raditz. Nice little uh, tag team combo there. And that firmly gives uh, Kaiju a one bar lead. Yeah, and the tag. That's going to be crazy later down the line. Raditz coming in with attack plus one, power of rage, eternal life, and Broly AI going up against Nail with key plus one, Kabito secret arts, fighting spirit, indignation, savior, light body, and Yajiro AI. Well, power energy wave misses. All right. I, lo I love Nail's outfit here. It's beautiful. I do love the black pants instead of the white pants. It looks really, really cool. Did not get a stalling off, though. Boom. All right, let's see. Will he do a Mystic Flasher? Full power, he could. Very well could. It would be good. He's going to go for a little bit of a melee throw in Grab Mystic in the Mystic Flasher? Flasher? Maybe. No. no. Yes. He's stunning him with the uh, thing. Oh. Oh. He went faster than his key blast. <laughs> oh, Wait oh, oh. one second and maybe he could have oh. got it. And now he has a key negative too. Well, I mean, one more uh, blast stock and he's not going to care. Yeah. He might not care about That's the true. key negative. And he's keeping up the gr aggression really well. Even if he isn't using supers. Full power. There you go. He's back at max power. Right, full power energy wave. Okay, eight thousand. That decides to play it safe this time. Yeah. Oh, but look at this. Radis wow. is now getting. Radis is now at a small deficit to nail here. Yeah, they keep on taking back the uh, the, the health advantage. Yeah, Radis just needs to go even with nail. 
Um, like, mm -hmm. bring Nail back down to his level and then go even. And then Kaiju can, you know, maintain a win that way. But, oh, wow, Nail does not care about his charge penalty. No, he does not. I mean, that key plus one, he has, uh, actually. Explosive wave. Yeah, and the fighting spirit. Ooh, 9,000 damage. All right, this should be the end of Raditz. Ouch, which means that Scouter Vegeta, or that's Bardock, is yep. coming back in. Oh, I don't know why wow, I nail Vegeta. tag early. He's going to be on his third bar. Burning Tornado misses. Oh, I thought Bardock was going to run into the tail end of that. Oh, will we see uh, Final Spirit Cannon or whatever? Uh, I sure hope so. I don't think he's going to get the chance. I don't think Nuevo's going to let him. That's it. There it is. But uh, he's going to be able to dodge it, I think. Pretty yeah. far away, yeah. <laughs> it looked like he was going to fly right back towards it. Yeah. <laughs> Nuova coming in with Super Plus One, Dende's Healing, Launcher Support, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, and Ginyu AI. Taking out Bardock. Yep. And wow, that is a 60,000 point uh, health versus 40,000. So King Vegeta has to uh, do a little better than average. But it's King Vegeta. I can see him doing it. Yeah, it's it's totally possible. And execution beam was this? Uh, Orga blaster. This is his ult. Orga blaster. Yeah. Nice ult for fourteen. Yeah, now it's only that's a, that's what you need. That's all, now it's only a five thousand point difference. So I mean, it's definitely doable. Oh, that misses though. <gasps> Will we see burning meteor. Yeah, blaster meteor. Blaster meteor. Best this ultimate. would do a ton of damage if it Whoop. actually hit. If it actually was good. Um, okay, so King Vegeta's coming in with defense plus two, attack minus one, indignation, fighting spirit, latent energy, savior, Dende's healing, and Yajiro the AI. First attack! Damage! This is uh, match nine, technically. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, wow, look at Nail's health! Yeah, three bars. He tagged, at the, he tagged with a sliver of the uh, third bar still active. So, I mean... Wow, that is... That's why this is a little rough for King Vegeta. It is King Vegeta, so I can see him definitely doing um, at least his average. So it's not over. Oh, burst First attack. attack. Although Ouch. if just those Nuova's keep, still so strong. Yeah, if those keep hitting and those missed. Oh, but he transforms. Ape. But it's not. Oh, that's not really good against Nuova. It'd be better no. against Nail because it prevents the ultimate at least but yeah this i mean it's looking pretty rough for king vegeta especially when he keeps on spamming v2s at such a range they're ineffective well there he goes he's like ha ah, i will also dodge you uh-oh that's gonna hurt running tornado oh it misses oh, okay. <laughs> completely misses a weird matchup we have here both of them are missing their v2s a lot oh nuova doesn't care though nuova's like i'll punch through your power body that makes sense. He is a GT character. Yeah. Oh, oh that Whoa. weird animation where King Vegeta got a free 700 points of damage off of it. Weird. That's his ult. Oh, a barrage. barrage. I don't know if it's going to hit, but it might. No. Nope. And he's not going to be able He blocked it. Okay. So he blocked the burst attack. Better than taking full damage. But we see another yep. blaster meteor. I sure don't hope so, because it would be quite pointless. Super Gallic gun. Super Gallic. As he's flying. Finally him, hits. There you go. Wow. Okay. Well, in comes Nail. I still would probably give the advantage to Nail just because of that health lead. Yep. But uh, King Vegeta's not doing too bad. No. I mean, Nail, I don't think, can naturally punch through Power Body. His ultimate is now completely worthless. Um, but, I mean, just even a super explosive wave. There you go. There we go. That's it. And that takes care of it. So, Namix during the preseason go up to 1-0 and with Kaiju going 2-0 and 1. But that may all change in the actual main season where things will have changed. What? Anyway, match yes. two. <laughs> we have the other East Kai Divisional. What? 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 It's GT versus Earth Defenders. Uh, both in East Kai. Uh, GT going to East Kai in their first season. Very nice. Um, yeah. I don't really have 
anything else that I can say except for uh, this is going to be a match of Gokus because there's so many Gakus. There's quite a few Gokus in this week. And I should say that Sin can now go up to Omega and Goku could go to Super Saiyan 4 Goku because we have disabled the fusion between him and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So there's no Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, anyway, starting off for Earth Defenders, we have Base and Goku with Super Plus 1, Launcher Support, Power of Rage, Indignation, Latent Energy, and TNAI going up against Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with Attack Plus 2, Defense Minus 1, Dende Ceiling, Power of Rage, Serious, Quick Fast Attack, and Trunks AI. Jesus! An 84 hit clash followed into an 8200 point uh, Kamehameha. And wow, Vegeta is already down a bar and a half. Yeah, he's already at a pretty big deficit, especially with that defense negative that he and has. There's another and Kamehameha. Goku just keeps on hammering him. Meteor Smash. And that one hits. Oh, wow. good lord. Goku. Goku ate his Wheaties. He's like, ha, you may have gone Super Saiyan 4, but I can beat you in my base form. Jesus, Goku. Vegeta hasn't done anything, and Goku has no healing. That's all that Vegeta has done. Woo, we're going to have some very little stats for G. Wow, look at that teleportation. He needs a tag. I mean, honestly, he just needs to come back with as much health as he yeah, can. Or cause... maybe do a final... Never mind, I was going to say do a final shine. Final flash. Final works. flash. Not uh, going to hit, though. No, Goku goes behind him. And there goes Goku. it. There goes Vegeta, having done like 5,000 damage. And Pycon, the FA for uh, GT. Yeah, he is coming in with Defense Plus 2, Latent Energy, Serious Launcher Support, Indignation, and Yajirobe AI. By the way, Base and Goku was a trade with Budokai. They, uh, Earth Defenders gave away Yamcha, and they got Goku in return. Mm-hmm. Or no, I think, was that Just for one season. Or, yeah, that was It alone. was a loan. Okay. Mehmea hits. Ooh, stunned him with that. Yeah. This Goku's doing a really good combo. Yeah, and he's tearing through now his second member. Burning shoot. Dodged. Misses. Man, wow. Goku. This, Go this Goku's going in. Yeah, this Goku does not care. All right, and now he is... He's done about 60 at this point. Uh, about 60, yeah. And it doesn't look like Pycon has healing. Oh, but Pycon is going to get... Uh, Early tag. Yeah, going to get to a third bar. And in comes Gaku. GG Goku base coming in with Super Plus 2, Key Minus 1, Launcher Support, Fighting Spirit, Indignation, Light Body. Oh, straight to Super Saiyan 2. Savior and Shoutsu AI. I think. Is that Super Saiyan 2? Uh, no, I don't see any electricity now, I guess. So yeah. maybe it's Super Saiyan 1. Ooh! Oh, almost oh, but he's really his cool. energy. Uh, gotta love the AI. Wasting their energy. There you go. And he just charges it right back up as if it was nothing. Oh, but GT Goku's like, all right, I'm the better Goku. Wow, 10,000 points Ouch. of damage. Ouch. This Goku, can he be stopped? Can End Goku be stopped by anybody at this point? Well, with an End Goku and a Mid Vegeta and another Goku... And something else, though. That's enough. That's wow, Jesus. Uh, I think Goku's at 80,000. Super Saiyan 3. Whoa. Nope, oh Super my Saiyan god. 2. No, 2. Yeah, okay. I mean, two. good lord. What is he doing? Uh, he's doing what uh, Earth Defenders want. That is true. He's definitely doing what they were hoping for. GT Goku can't do anything. None I, of GT can really do anything. I think he has really after strike active, though, so uh, we'll see. Oh, yep, there we go. So this could help uh, do a little dodge battle here. You know, get some extra damage. Okay. Goes to Super Saiyan 1. But he has okay, no Okay, I mean, key. that's good, but yeah, he can't do anything. Goku could just do a B2 and finish him off, even melee. Yeah, oh, looks like Goku was doing a little jitter to try and get to Super Saiyan 3. All right, um, and that's it. I think I think Goku went elite. <laughs> I think and yeah, Goku I went think so elite. Too. <laughs> I think so, and he's now down to Sin Shenron, who can transform into Omega, but that's if he can get past and Goku, which I think oh, he Super will. Trap Shooter. Will oh, it kill? No, it does not. No. Super Saiyan three. We've seen every stage of Goku. <laughs> of course. 
He's gonna come in with the whole bar. That is terrible for GT. Jeez. Sin Shenron coming in, by the way, with defense plus three, attack minus one, eternal life, master blast. Gohan AI going up against Krillin with attack plus one, Dende's healing, and Dominable Fighting Spirit. Serious. Quick fast attack and Frieza AI. I think um, tag game and Omega are going to be uh, what ends up helping GT here. Um, getting Omega yeah, Pycon to, still has a lot of health. Yeah, getting Omega to do a, you know, 9,000 point V2, um, with, you know, then that's not counting any sort of boosts or deficits. I mean, that'll definitely be helpful, but Goku... Krillin is going in, too. Goku did so much damage. Yeah. I, I, I don't see a way that GT can make this up, honestly, just since they still have Krillin and another Goku, and a Vegeta to go through, it's it seems a little bit too much to me. Yeah. And I mean, Krillin is doing massive damage to Sin here. Destructo Disc, that's his ult. And he got stunned and by the Key hits. Blast. Yep. Ouch. We could see Omega trans... Or sorry, Sin transform. Gigantic Blaze. Horrible choice. And Just he tags that at out. least. It's not uh, bad, but no. This this is an absolute devastation. Hyper, Hyper tornado. tornado. That one's good, at least. I mean, we'll see how far they can get. But honestly, like this is just uh, it's too much. I think. Yeah. I mean, I just don't, I don't even know what to say at this point because. The mountain they have to climb is so crazy because of that base and Goku. I guess I can't really say it's just base. He, he went up to Super Saiyan and was still doing and, stuff. And, you know, th here's the thing. This is the... Earth Defenders were the team that didn't submit a build. That's true, yes. <laughs> so, you know... This is their test build. <laughs> their test okay. build... Oh, he didn't follow it up. Their test build that got put in a random order, and they had Goku do that. Yeah. I mean, wow. okay, look. Pycon is taking it to Krillin. That's He's good. only lost oh, about three fourths Missed. of a bar. Okay, we I believe see... Pycon can take him out. Yeah, I think we might see a uh, a character eliminated on Earth Defenders. Maybe. Come on, Pycon, just finish him. Don't let no. him tag. Don't let him tag. Pycon. He's got some Pycon, tension please. he needs to get rid of. There you go. <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> he might be able to take out base and Goku. He's in Super Saiyan 3, which we all know is his dumb form, so. Well, obviously not this season. Oh, super explosive uh -oh. wave is going to do massive damage. Ouch. 12,000. All right, Pycon, don't. Yeah. There you go. Thunder Flash, okay. It's his ult, but it's not going to hit. Oh, no, it did hit. He oh. kind of flew into it. Goku, no. Finally, the menace of end Goku goes down. In comes mid Vegeta. Coming in with attack plus two, defense minus one, Dende's healing, serious dragon power, and Trunks AI. Maximum Flasher misses Pycon with another tag. They're playing the tag game. Sin, now would be All a right. good time to transform. This would be a perfect time to transform and do a, th a couple Thunder Flashes. Yeah. I don't think Vegeta's going to let him, though. Well, you know, again, Sin, it would be great. You know, it would help your, it would help your team. There you really, go. Oh, there we go. He's absorbing all the Dragon Balls. He doesn't get his wish, though. Oh, what's his wish? To be loved? Um, oh, and immediately going down yeah, without doing anything exactly. after transforming. Oh, so is that the new Super Saiyan 3? <laughs> the Omega. Right, Pycon has all right. less than a bar to do 80,000. That's an ult, and that is got missed. Oh, dodge. Nice dodge. Pycon's keeping it alive. His stats will be not terrible this week. No, Pycon's stats are going to be amazing, but, like, Vegeta's was, like, 5,000. Kid Goku's was maybe 20,000. Not sure about Sin's, but... Boom. All right, Pycon. A great FA for their team. A great pickup. You know, I bet if Pan was in, we would have done. Uh, they would have done better. Pan was the deciding factor against N Goku. Of she course. could have ended the menace. What you think that Goku would want to beat up his granddaughter? Probably not. But this is so weird to see Pycon like staying in there because we all know what's going to happen, and he's just kind of prolonging it. Yeah, but, but he's doing great. Look at that! Look at that stat boost. 
if they had another character in the back gt i say that this is doable nah. but there it is if they had one more character i think that they could have done that earth defenders with a uh pretty strong win pycon though uh, tried making that up uh so good on them earth defenders go up to one and oh during the preseason with gt going to zero and one Make sure to do your usual YouTube thing of liking, subscribing, ringing the bell. We have a survey in the description that we would like you guys to fill out as it will help the league out. We also have our website and our Discord server to make sure that you guys can uh, keep updated and, you know, help out. If you end up feeling like you could help out, you can join a team. You can end up uh, joining the modding community. You can join our uh, banner creation people, uh, the creative team. That's it. And we, you could also join the stats team if you're more of a number file. But until then, I'm Ryan. And I'm Jay. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.